Welcome, and thank you for joining us here today as we celebrate the mission to remember the fallen, honor those that serve and their families, and teach the next generation the value of freedom. My name is Master Sergeant Robert D. Young, United States Army retired and commander of the Northwoods Honor Guard. I am, will be your Master of Ceremonies for today. We ask that to start the event, you all please join me in a moment of silence to remember the fallen, prisoners of war, those missing in action, and honor those who have served and are serving this great nation in the armed forces. stand while the colors are being presented by the American Legion Riders, District 11, Color Guard. Color Guard, present the colors. Reverend Chapler will provide the invocation and prayer. Please uncover and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today honoring all our veterans who have fought and paid the price for the freedom that we enjoy. Those who have gone before us in this field and in fields throughout this land and in foreign lands have lived and died so that we might live a better life. We give thanks for their sacrifice and pray that this re remembrance that we today embrace may instill all generations to give homage to these heroes. We pray for all who mourn their passing and ask that you comfort them with your love and grace. Keep each and every one of us mindful of our call to follow you, our duty to continue this veteran's legacy and to bring to our final day where you bring us to our final day where you will say, well done, good and faithful servant. You have served me and your country with impeccable service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing while the Girl Scout Troop, number 7227 of Tomahawk, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. choosing, 
and we have the right to succeed and the right to fail at whatever endeavor we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideas of freedom, justice, <coughs> and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free. And we shall not forget you. We shall remember you. Today more than ever, we reflect on our nation's veterans and active duty service members who have had and continue to fight to protect the innocent and the oppressed. This nation has always been the first to stand up for freedom of people from around the world. Many of you here today have answered that call and served our country. For this, we say thank you. We are honored to know you. There are many men and women serving today in all branches of the military, here at home and in places far away. The most of us, the most of us have never heard of. These men and women are put, are part of the best trained, best equipped force in the world. We honor them and their families and the sacrifices they make each and every day. This year, we've added an additional ceremonial wreath to honor the men and women currently serving in the U.S. Space Force, along with those veterans who have served in roles helping secure our nation's interests in space. Quoting our 40th United States President Ronald Reagan, Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for and protected and handed on for them to do the same. And one day, we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like to be in the United States when we were free. Today, we show a united front of gratitude and respect across the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve and their families, and teach the next generation the value of freedom. I would like to introduce Army Sergeant First Class Robert Smith, Location Co-Coordinator for Wreaths Across America, Northwoods National Cemetery. Robert is also a member of our Northwoods Honor Guard. We will uh, prepare to um, lay our ceremonial wreaths, organizational wreaths, and others. To begin our ceremonial wreath laying, Sergeant, uh, First Sergeant Dan Keck, will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who have served and are now serving in the United States Army. Jake Kriesel will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who have served and are now serving in the United States Marine Corps.
Petty Officer Tony Shuni will lay a veteran grief in memory of those who have served and are now serving in the United States Navy. Staff Sergeant Bob Turk will now lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who have served and are now serving in the United States Air Force. Specialist Skip Doolin will lay a veteran's wreath in honor of those who are serving in the United States Space Force. Specialist Jared Olson will lay a veteran's wreath in memory of those who have served and are serving the United States Coast Guard. Staff Sergeant Jerry Mueller will lay a wreath, a veteran's wreath, in memory of those who have served and are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. Staff Sergeant Kevin Peterson will lay a veteran's wreath in honor of the 93,129 United States servicemen from all branches of the service whose last known status was either prisoner of war or missing in action. These individuals have never returned to their families and homes. We shall not forget you. Master Sergeant Robert Dion will now lay the Medal of Honor wreath.
start you in first class, excuse me, first class, Craig Loud will lay a wreath for the Veterans Ceremony Union Grove Cemetery. American Legion Post 93 and Auxiliary Wreath will be laid by Captain Tom Garrigan, Army, Tom Peterson, Navy, Mike Mackman, Navy, Terry Hagar, Army, Al Erickson, Army, Carol Mueller, Auxiliary, and Jan Erickson, Auxiliary. Bob Sword will lay a wreath for the Tomahawk DFW post 2687. Patty Sword, well, Auxiliary Vice President, will lay a wreath for the VFW Post 2687 Auxiliary. First Lieutenant William Berkelo will lay a wreath for the Lincoln County DAV Chapter 29. And Master Sergeant Robert Dion will lay a wreath for the Northwoods Honor Guard. The inspiration of this year's theme, Find a Way to Serve, seemed to be the reoccurring subject throughout last year. Notably, the American Rosie Movement, which highlights the stories of World War II era women known as Rosie the Riveters, 
or simply Rosie's. These women pulled together to do work that was needed to be done for our freedom. This theme hopes to inspire youth and others to get involved in their communities to serve in small ways that can make a big impact. You don't have to be in the military service to serve your community and country. Quoting Moral Whisker, founder of Peace Across America, every person has something to give. Whether it is their time, ideas, compassion, or resources, what can seem like the simplest act or gift can start a nationwide movement, and it is the hope that the theme, Find a Way to Serve, will spark in people. In closing, uh, Mother Teresa said it best, the greatest good is what we do for one another. Please join Reverend Scheffler in singing God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean, white with foam. God bless America. My home, sweet home, God bless America, my home, sweet home. We encourage every family member or volunteer here today who places a wreath on a veteran's grave to say that veteran's name aloud and take a moment to thank them for their service to our country. It's a small act that goes a long way toward keeping the memory of that veteran alive. Remember, we are not here today to decorate graves. We are here to remember not their deaths, but their lives. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful America. These live balsam fir wreaths symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand that the freedom you enjoy today have not been free, but have come with a cost that someday you may have to pay yourself. As a nation standing together, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Thanks to our veterans, we have the freedom to do just that. Reverend Scheffler will now provide the benediction. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? 
The ceremony you're about to witness is the three-round rifle volley. It is the highest military honor bestowed upon the fallen. It differs significantly from the 21-gun salute which is appropriate to render a high military honor to the president, vice president, foreign dignitaries, and to salute the flag of the United States. Thank you. Port. Port. Ready. Aim. Port. 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 Please remain standing while the colors are being retired by the American Legion Riders, District 11 Color Guard. At this time, I would like to introduce Mary Engman, Location Co-Coordinator for Reefs Across America, Northwoods National Cemetery. Thank you. In closing, we would like to thank all of you who have joined us today, as well as all of those behind the scene volunteers, as we Remember our fallen United States veterans, honor those who serve, and teach your children the value of freedom. Without all of the support provided, this event would not be possible.